Hey guys, it's Roanoke Gaming here. Uh, today, I actually want to do something a little different and maybe start kind of a new thing as far as with my channel. Uh, discussing stuff that's kind of going on, what I'm looking at as far as, you know, the gaming industry, news, things of that nature. And to kick this off, one of the things I actually found was people were having a huge issue with the Xbox uh, Game Pass. And it seems to me that it's not really so much the consumers as far as you, me, and the other guy playing Xbox, but it's actually the secondhand stores that are having some major problems with uh, Xbox actually doing this with their own content. So what I've found is an article, and it's basically just telling us that, you know, for the actual consumer, it's a good thing, but for secondhand stores, it's a horrible thing. And as I'm reading through the article, one of the things I noticed, which <laughs> kind of is a little strange to me, I suppose, would be the best way to say it, is that these secondhand stores are actually stating that they're no longer going to be stocking Microsoft products if this goes through, and that they're going to boycott Microsoft, and they're not going to you know, have their games there or their consoles. You know, one of their valid points that they do raise is they're not going to have it because they won't be able to sell it because people can just get it digitally. But at the same time, it's like they're using it as a bargaining chip to say, oh, hey, Microsoft, if you do this with your products, then we're no longer going to support that. And I find it kind of funny for one main reason, and that is Microsoft is literally designing a system because we all know that the world is heading towards all digital. Uh, physical copies of things are kind of a relic. It's like A-track tapes compared to the DVDs. You know, you're going to start progressing as time goes on. And you're going to find better ways of doing things, clearer ways of doing things. And let's be honest, the digital age is upon us. Physical copies are no longer needed. I haven't been to a GameStop in years because of that. And what I'll do is I don't have to pre-order something and go stand out there at midnight and do all that. I can just digitally download something and I'm good to go. But to get back on track with what I was saying was, it's funny because Microsoft has made this to cut out the middleman for their own products. And there's obviously people that are angry about this, but they're Microsoft products. Microsoft cre not creates these games, but backs these games as exclusives. And it's essentially their their ownership until you buy it then it becomes yours but it's theirs at the beginning and these secondhand retail stores have always kind of found a loophole with things and they were able to sell it and you know for the last what six years or so especially with the release of the xbox one we started to see that you needed certain type of of code or there needed to be proof that you purchased it outright to play on xbox one and i will admit Microsoft kind of, uh, back, lack of a better term, shit the bet on that one. They 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 overreached and then they started screwing with the consumers. But the Xbox Game Pass, it'll have new games on it. And now we've got the secondhand retail stores just kind of getting a little uppity about it. It feels like talking about how you know, like I said, they're gonna they're gonna boycott Microsoft and they need Microsoft. They need the secondhand sales to stay alive, otherwise they're not going to. This almost harkens back to when Blockbuster basically said Netflix would never amount to anything and Blockbuster wasn't going to change anything about its business tactics or overall business model. And then Netflix came in and just absolutely crushed them. And that's what's about to happen to the uh, secondhand sales is they're no longer necessary. So it's sort of like either get with the times or get left behind, and they're hanging out with bloody fingernails. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that and maybe get your guys' opinion on it in the comments. Is this the end of the physical brick and mortar store as we know it? Or are they going to change their business model and perhaps save their own businesses? But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think if this is the end of the era or not. Alright guys, take care.